Hi guys, Haroon here, and today we're reviewing the Galaxy Watch Active 2. So guys, let's get it started with the battery. So the battery is okay, not too great to be honest though, it lasts about 1-2 to two days which is pretty average but with a smartwatch you'd want it to last at least a week like something like a Fitbit but it's definitely not a deal breaker but yeah just not ideal well as you can see here the standard model costs £239 for the 40mm model and the 44mm is £259 so only £2, um, £20 more and then you can also get a special edition Under Armour model and then you can choose the colour between black or pink and you can see there are also a couple of other special edition models but this is the main one you're going to get and you can also get a 4G model which actually comes with stainless steel instead of aluminium but it also costs about £100 more and it's also the colour choice is black and gold instead of black and pink and it also comes with a leather band instead of just a normal plastic Moving one. on to the apps. Now, I'd say this is probably the weakest point for the any of the Galaxy Watches, really, because all the other manufacturers like Apple and, let's say, Google, they have, like, quite a lot of apps, whereas since this is a bit more niche and it's, like, it's Tizen no OS, which is just on the Galaxy Watch, so it's a little bit, you know, you've not got as many mainstream apps, like, Google Maps, I'd say the only ones you really have is Spotify, so yeah that's probably the most disappointing part of the Galaxy Watch. As for the software, it's pretty good, I'd say it's probably on par with the Apple Watch and definitely better than the um, Google Wear OS. So if we go on here, there's a digital rotating bezel which is quite nice to use actually, so you can have, all, you can have a lot of widgets here as you can see, so you can add whatever you want and then notifications to the left of your main time screen and then if you press um, this button here it'll take you to um, all your apps and once again you can navigate using the uh, digital rotating bezel or you can just like swipe through like this and it's pretty user friendly and yeah as you can see here there are plenty of workout options once again using the digital crown to scroll and you can see loads and loads everything that you'd ever need is right here and then for health tracking you can go on the app the Samsung health app is quite well integrated with that or you can go home here to the Samsung health app and you can also see all of your stats as you can see everything that you would ever need it also has sleep tracking if you want to do that personally I can't sleep with my watch on but you, you see you got the heart rate as well stress level that's really just heart rate monitoring just rebranded to be honest and um, yeah you have food you, you can track your weight and stuff I can't be bothered to do that but you can if you want and then you can compare with other people, your friends and stuff. And then in settings, you have some more uh, units, workout and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it will automatically detect that you're working out. So if you forget to start a workout, it will do it itself, which is quite good. And you see you've got some other things here. And that's pretty much it for the health aspect. And um, yeah. Now, as for the design, it's pretty sleek. You know, there's not a lot... There's not a lot to it, you know, it's quite minimalist, quite simple, but it looks nice, you know, you could, it could look sporty as well, so I think the design is really nice, it's a round face, uh, you know, the Apple Watch has a square, that's really up to personal preference, in terms of which one is better, but, yeah, it looks really nice, uh, you know, yeah. So guys, overall I would say that the Gal Galaxy Watch Active 2 is the best smartwatch for Android. I still say it's behind the Apple Watch, you know, the Apple Watch... Well, Apple is really just moving ahead and, you know, adding more features, whereas it seems like Android watches and, you know, these Samsung ones, they're still kind of trying to find their way and trying to perfect the same thing. But I think now, you know, they have a strong base with this watch, and now they can start improving and, you know, catch up to Apple, really, because Apple have really got ahead in terms of this, and, yeah, Samsung just really needs to catch up now. 
Now, so would I say after six months, this watch is worth it? Probably yes. It is cheaper than the Apple Watch, and I think it's the best Android watch available. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this, then please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.